Greetings and welcome to today's devotion here at Extraordinary Connection. My name is Devin Smith and I serve as the pastor here at Romeo United Methodist Church. A few weeks back, I received a, an email after Sunday worship. It's not unusual in the least. I, like many others, will receive feedback of one form or another, emails, texts, phone calls, visits to the office. Sometimes that feedback is good, and sometimes maybe not so good. But this particular instance, this message I received, it was one of the good ones. The subject of the email was simple. It simply said, Sunday service, and it had the date listed, August 1st. And then the content of the email was just as simple. It read, the sanctuary. And then right below that said, Reverend, Reverend Smith, Romeo UMC on iPad. I was a little curious what that meant. But then I clicked onto the attached images of the email, and this is what I saw. Suddenly, the content of that email was made a little more clear to me. As you can see there, we're looking at the worship, the worship experience of the couple that sent me that message on that Sunday after worship. We see the sanctuary they were in, their front porch, with some beautiful blooming trees and flowers and bushes on a beautiful Michigan summer morning. And we see the iPad they were watching the service from, with me right there on the screen leading that service. As I said, that was from early August, that email was, and that email has remained in my inbox for almost the whole month, or for the whole month now, almost a full month now. And I don't generally keep a a lot of things in my inbox. I try to keep it, it trimmed down and try to keep the clutter away as much as I can, but there's something about that message. It kept drawing me back to that email. I'd open up that email. I'd look at those images, and each time I did, I'd put a smile on my face. I think part of the reason is that I know the effort that has been put forth to make that possible. The team of individuals that are a part of my Romeo AV team here that they've spent time researching and purchasing and installing and practicing and fine-tuning all that equipment that we have up there to make it possible for us to stream the service live each week. It hasn't always been easy and gone perfectly well. There's challenges, there's hiccups that come along the way. It was just a recent Sunday that we had to throw in the towel for that week because one piece of the puzzle or another wasn't working right. We still don't know exactly what it was but it made it impossible to stream that Sunday. There are challenges that we have faced. But that group of people has worked to make this important ministry, this important worship opportunity possible. Because of them, we have people who are able to tune in from not only the greater Romeo area throughout Michigan, but also from across the country. I regularly hear from people that are in New York, Pennsylvania, the Carolinas, Florida, Arizona, and elsewhere. I hear about how much they appreciate the ability they have to tune in and worship with us on any given Sunday. Now I share all this because that email, those pictures, they've been a reminder to me over this past month that we don't always know the results of our efforts. The couple that sent me those photos, they've supported me. They've supported me with their words of encouragement, their notes, their prayers for as long as I can remember, for as long as I've been doing this. And they didn't know that would be the result of that email. But through that simple act of sending me an email, they have lifted my spirits. They've encouraged me to continue doing the sometimes difficult work that allows us to reach people as we try these new and different things in ministry. And just today, as I was preparing for this devotion, reading through that email, looking at those photos again, my mind was taken to Jesus' words in Matthew 13. Let me read these for you. This is Matthew 13, verses 3 through 8. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly since they had no depth of soil. 
But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. I think this scripture spoke to me because sometimes I might feel like that sower. I'm out there trying to throw seed wherever I can, in whatever way I can, to as many people as I can. But often we can become disappointed or let feelings of failure creep in because we see that seed that is being eaten up or that seed that is scorched and withers away. We see the failures or we remember the failures. It is during those times that I would encourage us all to remember that even if every seed does not fall on good soil, some of it does. And the thing is, we don't always see or know the results of that. They don't, aren't always immediately apparent before our eyes. But those seeds that fall on good soil, they do take root. They do produce results up to a hundredfold, as the scriptures tell us, even if we never know it directly. And that's my encouragement for all of us this week. It's actually twofold. First, continue throwing that seed. Continue trying. Continue doing the new and different ideas for ministry and outreach. Throw the seed, because there is good soil waiting for those seeds to come. Soil where those seeds will take root. My second encouragement, though, is continue to send those encouraging emails, the messages, cards, make the phone calls, offer words of encouragement to your Christian brothers and sisters. We know we're not doing this for our personal glory. That's not what this is about. But I think we can all acknowledge that. And I'm speaking from personal experience here. That email in my inbox is my experience. Those few brief words, a picture or two, they can make all the difference. They can provide the needed nudge, the needed encouragement to keep on sowing the seeds. Let us be people who encourage one another, to strengthen one another for the good of God's glory, the good of God's kingdom here on earth. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, take care, and God bless.